Hello, um, just a quick video on configuring the uh, the mode switch on your X56 HOTAS. Uh, before we get started, just a couple of things to confirm or clarify. There is no Windows 11 installer for this bit of software. You have to download the Windows 10 version and it works perfectly fine. What you're seeing now is running on Windows 11. It's all good. The only thing I would recommend is you make sure you download the correct version. So you want to be running version 802130. Um, at least that version. If a newer version comes out, then go for that. But I'm running on 802130. Right, so you've got the application loaded. Um, First thing you need to do is go to programming. You then need to select your device to program, which in this case is going to be the throttle. Click on the throttle. Um, this is like using my default profile. Uh, I'm going to do a new one. It says untitled. Change the view to grid view. And you'll notice three columns. These are your different profiles for position one, position two, position three. Mode one, two, and three. I'm going to call mode one combat. Okay, I'm going to call mode two flight, and we're going to call mode three landing. Right, <clears throat> so the next row down is to do with uh, fallback what to do in the event that it can't um, load this particular um, profile. So in the event it can't load combat for whatever reason, it's going to default to flights. In the event it can't do um, load landing for some reason, it will default to flight also, and flight will just leave. The next thing you need to do is actually add the keystrokes. So these are the keystrokes as you have mapped them within the game itself. Okay. So you need to have keys assigned to various um, commands in game. Command name. Not totally relevant now because that only this is what appears when you um when you uh have a screen on your hotel such as with the X fifty two and the X fifty two Pro. Right, press. So with my combat profile, what I want it to do is rebalance the um, pip allocation, then reallocate it all to weapons. Um, followed by deploying hard points and changing from analysis mode to combat mode. So I know that for me to re rebalance my pips is down arrow. Then I want to allocate more to sys system. That's to ensure that we're starting from one location to allocate um, power to the weapons. If you've got pips in um, engines, whatever, it just gets a bit messy. So we do go left twice, and then we're going to go right, one, two, three, four. Now I'll allocate all the power to my weapons. Then I want to change the mode from analysis to combat, and that's done with my M key. Finally, I want to deploy my hard points using my U key. And that's done. The numbers below are the times. Now, as you can see, in total, it's going to take 40 seconds to run that command, which is no good to man nor beast but fear not right hand click anywhere on that particular row select quantize and then what you're going to do is tell it the the interval between each action is going to be 0 0.01 and you'll notice that it brings the whole thing down to less than a second finally you want to tell logitech or the the, the, the controller what to do when you switch away from mode one. And in this case, I'm going to tell it to retract the hard points and switch back to analysis mode. Again, font size uh, 0 0.01. Click on OK. Click on OK. And that is that done. Um, then just repeat the process with the other profiles obviously changing the keystrokes accordingly so 
to prove it works, you can do it from here or you can do it from in-game. Um, typically, when I'm setting all this stuff up, I'll do it in-game as well, just to make doubly sure. If you do it in solo and Elite Dangerous, at least you can then do stuff without being sort of rammed or shot at or whatever. But you can test the profile inside this application. So you click on the little cog icon. Um, as you can see, by default, it's got that set. It's, it's, you know, it's the deploy, whatever. You press mode one, and it selects it. Back down again, it's run the release option. And that's all there is to it. Um, so you can do this with uh, the mode switching. You can do it with any other keys and stuff in, in, in the in the in the game. So if you were to press a certain button, you can you can trigger off all sorts of other keystrokes as well. Um, yeah, give it a try. And uh, any any problems? Drop a comment, and I'll try and answer.